Hey guys, uh, welcome to yet another kind of series thing I'm going to be doing. This is, if you remember my films I've watched this week, it's kind of a different version of that. Um, it's going to be fortnightly and it's going to be just every film I've watched in that fortnight and just give like a little ta um, couple minute review. Um, six films I've watched, um, I'm going to start from the last two weeks and then in two weeks time it'll be another one. Um, so yeah. Uh, this will be, as I've said, every two weeks, and yeah, I haven't watched many films the past few weeks for some reason, I don't know why, but uh, there's six years, so I'll get into them. The first I watched is Disney Pixar Cars. Um, in my opinion, this is one of my favourite Pixar films, I know that's a very unpopular opinion, but I don't care. I mean, Toy Story is still my favourite, then Monsters, Inc., then Cars. Um, I just love the... Uh, detail to all the characters. I mean, there's so many different characters in this film, um, and I just, I don't know. It has a feeling that it gives me that is a warm feeling, like most Pixar films. But with Cars, Toy Story, and Monster, they all have a different kind, and uh, that's why I like them so much. And Cars is, yeah, I know a lot of people don't like it, but I really don't see why not. The voice acting is really good. The cast is really, really good, and yeah, it's about cars, which, as a teenager, I always have a fascination with cars ever since I was younger, so that's kind of another kind of nostalgia thing, so I used to collect Hot Wheel cars back in the day. Um, so yeah, that's the first film I watched, Cars. Um, I'm going to give each one a percentage anyway, it's just because that's why I rate films. Um, cars, I'm going to give 82%. It's not a groundbreaking film by any means, and there is better films out there, better animated films as well. But uh, it's enjoyable, and I can't really fault it much. Um, yeah, so that's Cars. Next is another Pixar's film, uh, Pixar film, uh, Monsters University. Went to the cinemas to see this, and I watched it when it came on Sky Movies. Enjoyed it more the first time round. The second time round, I still enjoyed it, but. The first time I watched it, I thought it was better than Monsters, Inc., but now I think Monsters, Inc.'s better. Um, it just had something missing from it that the original had, and it never really got up to the expectations of Monsters, Inc. Um, I think Boo was a big factor in Monsters, Inc. being so likeable and enjoyable, because she was a really great character. And... Um, yeah, uh, not really much more I can say really, I mean, I'm going to give Monsters University uh, 80%, it's, I've preferred Cars over it, um, but yeah, it's a good film, just a bit disappointing the second time round, I, I have to say. Um, what's that say? Oh yeah, um, the next film is a film I watched on DVD and it's Smoking Aces. Got this for Christmas, I've only just watched it about a week ago. Um, I was a bit let down in some parts, I mean there was a lot of characters who I didn't even know were in it, like Chris Pine's character, I didn't know he was in this film, but Ben Affleck was barely in it and when he was in it, spoiler alert, he, he just gets killed. Um, weird noises going on um, yeah uh, it's enjoyable all the storylines are quite decent um, some of the characters are well most of the characters are likeable but it's just good fun and um, it's not the best film I've ever seen but it is a very enjoyable film and uh, I think it might be worth an upgrade because it might look better on Blu-ray. Um, but I'm going to give this uh, again 80% because it's enjoyable but not groundbreaking or anything like that. And the next is a Coen Brothers film. I had high expectations for this and Burn After Reading didn't like this at all. Besides Brad Pitt's character and John Markovich's character, all these three just absolutely one-dimensional um, just not likeable at all um, 
and it wasn't really funny at all, to be honest with you. Didn't laugh nearly as much as I thought I was going to do. In fact, I don't think I laughed out loud once. I mean, the few things brought a smile to my face, but yeah, very disappointed in this film. Um, the runtime's an hour and a half, well, an hour and 32, which when you've got a film that's disappointing, it's good to have a short time. Um, but yeah, very disappointing film, and I'm going to give it 60%, which I think is quite generous, to be honest with you. I know a lot of people do like this film, but I personally really didn't. Uh, the next is a film I watched on Sky Movies again, The Purge. Again, had high expectations for this. Disappointed again. Um, the first 30 minutes of it were quite good and, well, really good to be honest with you. And then when they brought uh, that guy who came in and the kid just let him into the house, I just thought he went downhill from there. The, ba the main bad guy who tries to get into the house, he was quite a good character. Very underdeveloped and I'd like to see more of him. But, yeah. Um, and... Ethan Hawke was very, very underused. I mean, he was barely in it, uh, and then he gets killed off. But, yeah, some of the acting is not very, very good, and very disappointing. Hopefully the second one will be an improvement, but it's a good storyline, and a good idea, I must admit, but exe not executed very well, in my opinion. Um, I'll give The Purge 62%. Um, I enjoyed it more than Burn After Reading, but uh, yeah, not very much. Um, and the last film is Limitless. This is one of the better films I've watched recently, and it was very, very. Uh, oh, I watched it in primary school. Uh, not primary school. Um, high school. Um, back in like year eleven. Um, because it has to do with drugs and we did about it in when we were learning about drugs and stuff. And obviously when you watch things in school you have the idiots who can't shut their mouths for an hour and a half or so. I picked it up for £4, would you believe, with the 3D slip cover, which I'm very, very impressed with. And absolutely blown away by it. I mean, it's not a fantastic film, but it is a very, very enjoyable film, very well done film and a very well acted film, which can't ask for much more really, and I'm going to give it 85%, very, very enjoyable, and uh, yeah, I, I just like the storyline and I like the some of the effects they do in this film, and Bradley Cooper, very, quite a good actor, he, he committed shows in this. So yeah, uh, that's the six films I've watched this fortnight, um, but I've got a few things from Amazon, such as The Social Network, Iron Man, Scott Pilgrim, I've got Seven Psychopaths coming, The Departed, and maybe CEX or something else, so a lot of films I'll be watching in the next two weeks, um, so hopefully it'll be a bigger, a longer episode next time, but yeah, um, like and comment below, and subscribe and I'll see you in another video.